Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome electric guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I'm gonna show you one simple trick, really, one simple trick, that will completely transform your entire soloing sound, because it will inject this smooth, modern, fusion-y sound into your solos, and you can play it anywhere, anytime, on any guitar, not just an electric guitar, you can do it on an acoustic as well, and it always sounds awesome always. And I know that most guitar teachers like to say, this is a really simple trick, you'll get it in no time, and then it takes you three months to get used to it and get it on your fingers. But this really is a simple trick. And um, there's a classic way to do this and a modern way to do this. Now, basically everyone knows the classic way, but the modern way is rarely used. So this is the sound that I'm talking about. Right? It's playing the same note, okay, the same note twice, but adding a slide in between. Okay, playing the same note on two different strengths. Now, what I was doing, okay, and this is just the beginning, okay, you can take this to great heights. Okay, you can add a bend in the middle, okay, you can do this. Okay, you can bend into the note and then slide into it, okay? But basically, the smooth modern sound that I'm talking about is the slide, okay? You play the same note twice with a slide in between. And you can slide forward, you can slide backward, uh, backwards. So, five hammer on to seven on the third string and five on the second string. And five on the second string is also nine on the third string. Okay, between strings two and three, it's always four, four frets apart. Okay, so five on the second string, and then you slide from seven to nine on the third string, and that's the effect. Okay? Now, um, you can do it backwards. Okay, you can do seven hammer on to nine on the third string, and then seven slide to five on the second string. Okay, you just go back. The important thing to remember is that the slide has to be immediate and quick. Okay, it's not a bluesy slide. It's not a two note slide. It's a one note slide. Okay, the slide is very, very fast. And the faster the slide, the better. Okay, and this is what I did uh, in my first example. I played the first, the first half, okay, is exactly what I showed you. It was uh, five hammer on to seven on the third string, five on the second string, and then a slide to nine on the third string, okay? It was this. And then it was nine pull off to seven on the third string, and then 10 on the fourth. Now it's 10 on the fourth, and between every set of strings, except for strings two and three, the same note would be five frets apart. Five frets apart, okay? Think about how you're tuning the guitar, okay? Five, 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 four, five, okay? That's the difference, okay? That's the, the, the distance between where you have the same note on two strings. So it was seven hammer on to 10 on the fourth, and then seven slide to five on the third, because 10 minus five equals five, okay? So... You see, you can edit anywhere, anytime. You can do it in slow soloing, okay? Um, slipped into Dorian uh, for some reason there. Um, and you can add bending to this as well. Okay, but before we add bends to it, okay, just practice it like this. Okay? 
That's between strings two and three, okay? You just hammer on two frets forward, play, okay? I played uh, three and five, okay? Three and five on the third, three on the second, and then slide to the next spot, two frets forward, okay? Seven, you slide, okay? Three plus four equals seven. Three on the second string, seven on the third, okay? You slide from five to seven. And then you do exactly the same move, okay? And then you can practice it backwards. Okay. Um, this is kind of an augmented scale sound. Uh, so you see, this is it's that easy to get this modern augmented scale fusiony sound. Okay, if you do it fast enough. Okay. It's just it's it's that easy once you get used to it. Now um, on any other on any other um, set of strings, okay, instead of strings two and three, it's always three frets apart. You could practice it like this. Hey, this is this '80s lick, uh, if you wish. Um, it's two and five on strings three and four, okay? Two and five. And then it's five and seven, okay? It's five and seven. And really, it doesn't matter uh, what lick you're playing. You don't have to play the lick that I'm playing, okay? I was playing a hammer on, okay? Again, just a hammer on on the fourth, okay? The next note on the third, and then I slide to the next position. Then I play a little lick until I reach seven on the fourth string, and then I slide back down to two on the third. Okay, it really doesn't matter what you're playing as long as you keep it in mind that this is your target. Okay, this is your, your target note. Now, most of us, we know the classic way to do this, okay? Okay, um, which is playing the note on the first string and then bending. Okay, three frets up on the second string. Okay, if we're in A minor, uh, it's five on the first string and you bend eight on the second string. This gives you, okay, the note that is on 10. And on strings two and three, you have five on the second string and you bend seven on the third string. This is the classic way to do this. So you can combine the two, okay? You can combine, you can bend, slide, come back, okay, slide back and bend again, okay? This is something that I shamelessly stole from my idol, Greg Howe. Okay, he loves to do this. I think he invented the sound. <laughs> cool is that? How cool is that? Again, you have five on the second string. You don't even have to do it. You don't even have to play this note. Uh, you bend seven, okay? And then you slide to nine, okay? Unbent, okay? You unbend the string and slide to nine, okay? All in one go. And then you slide back and bend again, okay? Slowly, it sounds like this. You see, it enables you to stay on the same spot and just give your solos so much more power, okay? It's such a powerful trick, such a powerful move, and it's, it's just brilliant. It's amazing. You can do it anywhere, anytime, anywhere on the neck, okay? As long as you remember that it's four frets apart um, on strings two and three, and it's three frets apart anywhere else. That's it. Okay, so uh, if you want a tool to practice this with, I have the Electric Guitar Mastermind Pack. Okay, go to lickandref.com slash electric and read all about it, check it out. And uh, for those of you who are still beginners, okay, I have the new beginner course, lickandref.com slash beginner. Okay, 120 lessons designed to take you from complete beginner to intermediate. Okay, um, so... Check it out and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.